If there's one thing the West knows how to do well, is to try and interfere in everything that concerns Africa. They always have an opinion on how Africans should live, what kind of policies should be formulated, whom African countries should partner with, and how Africans should run their governments because, to them, Africans are not capable of self-governance. Western countries believe that they are better, more superior, and better defenders of humanity than Africa, so that gives them the right to dictate what Africans should believe. For a long time, Africans have been content with allowing the West to dictate what should be done and how it should be done, thanks to those weak puppet African leaders. However, in recent times, African leaders have started to stand up for what they believe, refusing to dance to the tune of the West. One such African leader who has stood up to the West in recent times is the president of Botswana, President Mogwitsi Masisi. Botswana is a small country in the southern part of Africa with about 2.5 million people. This country may be small, but it ranks consistently as one of the top 10 richest countries in Africa, with a GDP per capita of $20. And the reason for this is that, compared to other African countries, Botswana has been able to set up robust institutions and prudent economic management practices, which have lifted it from the low-income country it was after its independence to an upper-middle-income country with the aspiration of becoming a high-income country. So, essentially, Botswana is doing great for an African country. One thing this country is known for is its remarkable wilderness area, which has made it the perfect environment for wildlife such as elephants, leopards, and lions. Essentially, the country is a haven for wildlife, and for a long time, it has done a remarkable job preserving wildlife animals, especially elephants, which have grown to about 130,000. However, as usual, the West has an opinion on Botswana's conservation policy and has expressed it through the Ministry of Environment in Germany. Earlier this year, the Ministry of Environment in Germany, headed by Steffi Lemke of the Green Party, hinted that there should be stricter limits on imports from trophy hunting. For people not familiar with the term, trophy hunting is a kind of hunting whereby parts of the animals are kept and displayed as trophies. So, what the Germans are basically saying is that they want to place a ban on bringing back the tusks of an elephant or the claw of a lion after it has been killed. This means that if passed, the ban would disincentivize trophy hunters in the European Union from going to Botswana. Sounds good, right? However, Botswana President Masisi doesn't think so, and in response, he has threatened to send 20,000 elephants to Germany. Just imagine 20,000 elephants walking majestically through the streets of Germany. That would certainly be a sight to see. Speaking to the German outlet Bild, President Masisi stated that it is very easy for those who made the proposal to sit in Berlin and have an opinion about our affairs in Botswana. We are paying the price for preserving these animals for the world and even for Lemke's party, he said. He went further to say that Germans should live together with the animals in the way you are trying to tell us to. Now, if you look at it from the perspective of Germany, which coincidentally has the highest number of trophy hunters in Europe, the opposing ban seems to be a good idea. After all, it seems cruel to hunt and kill animals and take part of their bodies as a reward. And, for Germany and other parts of Europe, this ban on trophy hunting is supposed to help reduce the extinction of animals. However, the issue is a lot more complicated than humans cruelly killing elephants for sport and taking their body parts as trophies. In 2014, Botswana banned trophy hunting and together with stricter conservation methods, the elephant population grew to about 130,000. However, according to Dag Enki, the director of Nuremberg Zoo in Germany, the ecological carrying capacity of elephants for the country is estimated at 60,000 animals. This means that Botswana has done its job so well that the elephants are now overpopulated, and this has led to a clash between humans and elephants. According to the president, herds of elephants move into human settlements to eat crops, destroy properties, and, in some cases, trample residents, leading to their deaths. This has caused the citizens of local communities to live in fear. In order to curb the conflict between humans and elephants as a result of the overpopulation of elephants, the government of Botswana decided to reinstate trophy hunting. But this time, it was different. 
as it is regulated by the government. In fact, according to the president, there is an annual hunting quota of about 400 elephants. The aim of this regulation is to both control the population of the elephant and protect the local population. And, contrary to what the Germans believe, trophy hunting doesn't actually threaten the survival of species as a whole. According to Dillis Rowe, chair of the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Sustainable Use and Livelihood Specialist Group, it can actually aid in conservation efforts by giving value to wildlife and therefore increasing the tolerance of local people to put up with dangerous wild animals on their doorsteps. Now, besides the fact that it helps to control the population of the elephants, it is also a way for Botswana citizens to earn money. To tackle the country's overpopulation of the animals, Botswana has already offered 8,000 elephants to Angola and another 500 to Mozambique. But trophy hunting, even according to experts on the matter, seems to be a good way of settling the human and elephant conflict. So, placing a ban on trophy hunting would not just affect the lives of the citizens of Botswana, it would also affect those who have made a living out of it. This is why the president of Botswana is unhappy about Germany's plan to ban trophy hunting and threaten to send 20,000 of these elephants to Germany. But would he really do that? The fact is, the president would probably not send those 20,000 elephants to Germany or 10,000 to London because first transporting that huge number will certainly be expensive for both countries. Secondly, unlike Botswana, which has the ideal environment and atmosphere for these creatures, neither Germany nor London have this environment. As expert Dag Enke stated, the problem is so big and complex that President Masisi is upset, for good reasons, about the Western simplification of possible solutions, which would also be completely counterproductive. Enke further added that he understands Botswana's dilemma as the country is trying to both protect its wildlife and its communities, which are affected by the overpopulation. The fact is, banning the import of trophies would make zero contribution to species protection, but only protect the so-called moral well-being of Europeans. Besides, isn't it kind of hypocritical of Germany and Europe to ban trophy hunting, which would affect the lives and livelihood of another country, when they are very much involved in hunting several species of animals in their forests. As Enki pointed out, trophy hunting has become a highly efficient tool for international and particularly Southern African species conservation. Hopefully, Germany listens to what Botswana is saying, or else it should be prepared to live with 20,000 elephants. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.